What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. This is my second day here. I spent all day yesterday walking around, shooting photos, didn't shoot a whole lot of footage, but today we're gonna be walking around Chinatown, which is one of the best places to shoot street photography in Bangkok. We're gonna take some photos, talk photography, um, and just get after it. So let's go explore. I'm gonna be shooting with the Sony a7 IV and the 35 millimeter F 1.4 G Master for most of the day. Uh, maybe switch to the 24 to 70. I'll let you guys know what I shot everything on. Uh, but without further ado, guys, this place is awesome. There's so much to see. We're racing against the light. So let's get after it. Now Chinatown here in Bangkok is actually a very, very interesting place. It's about 250 years old and it used to be just a wilderness swampy area on the outskirts of Bangkok. Um, and then in the 18 and 1900s, it became a center of commerce and there was a lot of manufacturing, a lot of trade and it was booming. It was the center of Bangkok trade. Um, but now it's more of a historical district. Um, it's still very Chinese, it's massive. There's a lot to see. And there's also a lot of cool like cafes and bars and restaurants like this place behind me. It's a photo posh tell. Unfortunately, it's closed, but there are a lot of cool places like this. And there's also just a lot of life being lived. You know, normal people are going throughout their day in a really interesting place. And I think it's just an amazing place to shoot street photography. There's so many of these little alleys as well um, that you can kind of just get lost in because the streets are so old. Um, so that's what I've been doing, just kind of wandering through these alleys, getting lost, not looking at the map, just going after it. Um, and I've been finding some pretty cool places. So let's continue on. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, you can go download my free travel photographers toolkit. Has a ton of awesome resources for travel photographers, things like hotel booking sites, airline booking sites, as well as gear recommendations um, and a bunch of travel tips as well. So go download that, that's completely free. There's a link in the bio and I hope you guys enjoy. So right now I am at Hua Lampong Station here in Chinatown and it is so freaking cool. It's a really old train station and even the trains are really old and there's a lot of people coming and going. But the thing that's so great about it is the fact that there's these stained glass windows on the rooftop and the light just spills in nice and beautifully. And I think it's one of those places that you can spend a lot of time in. I've already been here for about two hours shooting uh, and just being patient, you know, not shooting the entire time, but waiting for the perfect moment to capture that shot. And I think that's a concept that's really important for street photography is you could just keep walking and going and exploring. And that's great, I love to do that. But sometimes when you find that great location, it's nice to just chill out and wait and see what happens. You know, There's a lot of people that are coming and going and uh, it's just nice to hang out and wait for that perfect shot. So patience goes a long way in street photography. And this is one of those places that makes me really wanna be patient.
is a new day and I actually ended up going home yesterday because it was so hot. Um, I needed to take a break, get rehydrated, take a nap. And then I went out to Siam, which is basically the center of Bangkok. It's much richer, more modern. And also there's so many interesting lines. Um, there's these viewpoints where you can basically see all the roads below and the train tracks and everything is kind of intersecting and it looks really cool. So pretty happy with the photos that I captured yesterday. Um, but today I'm back in Chinatown and I'm gonna shoot here all the way from 3 p.m. all the way into the evening because like I said before, there's just so many of these small little alleyways that you can get lost in. And already today, um, I've been getting lost in this small neighborhood and it's been such a cool experience getting into the really small personal streets where families are living and um, they're operating their small businesses out of their homes. It's a really cool place and uh, I'm excited to be here. Now I wanna talk about shooting street with a 35 millimeter lens, which is mostly what I've been shooting with, my 24 to 70 a little bit, but I love the 35 millimeter focal length because it's wide without being too wide. It's very cinematic looking, very natural looking, but it can be hard to shoot street with because you have to get pretty close to your subject um, to capture that photo and that can be a bit daunting and a little bit scary you know sticking a camera in someone's face to shoot them but i think the more you do it the more you get the hang of it the better you're off you're going to be um, and you just get a little bit more comfortable over time uh, but it is a bit nerve-wracking at first but i think 35 millimeters is a classic focal length for a reason and um, i'm really pumped to be shooting all of these photos on this trip on 35 mil so i hope you guys enjoy it too So this is what I came here for. This is called Sarabao. It's a steamed Chinese pork bun. Uh, they're very popular here in China, actually in a lot of Asian countries. Uh, this is one of my favorite foods here in Thailand and this place is famous. So I walked here, bought it. This was a dollar. Um, so let's taste it and see how it is. Absolutely delicious, super soft, good barbecue flavor, delicious pork. They sell these all over Thailand, but the best ones are always in the Chinatown. So. You guys are coming to Chinatown, whether it's here or in Chiang Mai, the best the best bow are always going to be found in Chinatown. what has been a super long day a really hot day and uh, i'm tired it's gotten pretty dark here so I'll maybe shoot a little bit more uh maybe once the colors pop but for the most part i think i'm mostly done and i sat down to have some food i went with the pork wonton noodle soup which is one of my favorite foods to eat here in thailand it's delicious um so i'm gonna sit here enjoy this look through some of the photos uh, but with that said thank you guys for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it Hopefully you guys liked some of the photos that were in there too. Um, and if you guys want to see more of my street photography videos, go check out my Lisbon video. That one's pretty cool with the Fuji X100V. And also go download my free travel photographer's toolkit. It's got a bunch of information in there about all different types of things for travel photographers. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy that. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to eat this and head home and uh, I'll catch you guys again soon.